Last tip. I, I always think this, this verse is the greatest verse for encouragement for those of us trying to find a wife. Uh, and, you know, maybe we're not doing as well as we'd hoped. But look at what this verse says here. It says here in Ecclesiastes 9, I returned and saw under, under the sun that the race is not to the swift, to, to the fast. So he said, the race is not to the fastest, uh, nor the battle to the strong, neither yet bread to the wise, nor yet riches to men of understanding, nor yet favor to men of skill, but time and chance happeneth to them all. So this verse is saying here that it's not necessarily the best person that gets the prize, the wisest person that do does the, the best thing in life. It's saying here that time and chance happeneth to all. Hey, Timothy, sit down. <laughs> but time and chance happeneth to them all. What does that mean? So time, I believe, referring to that opportunity, that opportune moment, right? <laughs> Where, you know, that thing happens and that there's that time frame, there's that opportunity to strike. The time happens to everybody and the chance is you taking that chance, right? So this verse is saying here, you don't necessarily have to be the most handsome, the richest, the wisest, the most confident, but if you get that opportunity and you take the chance, you could win the prize. So you've got nothing to lose there and everything to gain if you take that opportunity and, and seek that prize and go for that girl. And you know, because dating is a choice, because who you marry is a choice, hey, that's great. That means it's, it's not destiny, right? Because if it is destiny, what if you're destined to be single? You know, but you know that if it's not destiny, it's a, if it's a choice, then you can take that time, you can take that chance, and you can do something if you desire a wife. So this is, I think this is a great verse for encouragement. Um, Proverbs 29, I'll show you this verse. It says here, the fear of man bringeth a snare, so it's like a trap, but whoso putteth his trust in the Lord shall be saved. You know, if you fear man, it'll stop you from doing uh, what you can do. And you know, my friends played a big part in even me uh, finding my wife. And I might share my story a bit more in depth another time. But, you know, when we went out, you know, obviously I'm not the most confident person, you know, when it comes to ladies. But, you know, my friends in the United States were egging me on and trying to say, and I remember we were, we were sitting in a pizza place, right? And uh, there was this serv one of the waitresses and we were like, hey, you know, she's kind of cute. And then my friends were like, go on, go on, go on, talk to her, just ask her out. And I was like, no, no, no. You know, it's like, it's like, you know, you're trying to justify your mind why not to do it. But, you know, at the end of the day, it's like, well, what have I got to lose, right? So they, they egged me on and did it. So I just went up and I talked to her and asked her her name and asked her if she was interested in getting a coffee or something. But it turns out she had a boyfriend, so that didn't work. So I went back to the table, you know, my head bowed down. But we were all laughing, right? And this, I had great friends because it was like, hey, you did it. You broke the ice. You know, it doesn't matter because, you know, and, and, and that's what I did find in my life is that when I broke the ice, I realized it wasn't as bad as I thought it was. You know, and it never is as bad as you think it is. And you pick yourself up, and now the next time you ask a girl, you know, you, it's, you've experienced it before, and you actually have more confidence. You might be more successful the second time around. And eventually I was. So, you know, you can learn from my example, if you like, and, and just go for it. You know, one thing we, I learned in sales is, you know, if you do nothing, it's a no anyway. You know what I mean? Like, if you're thinking, oh, this girl might say no, well, if you do nothing about it, then it's already a no. So you may as well ask and take the, take the chance. On the odd chance, she might say yes. And how many people has that happened to where they've taken that chance and they get to know that girl and they've married somebody that was not in their circle. It was just somebody they met out and about. So just go for it. You know, I, I guess the only thing you've got to lose is pride. But that's a good thing, right? Yeah. You know what I mean? <laughs> like, if, if, all you, if all you've got to lose in taking that chance is pride, that's good for you. You know, lose that pride, humble yourself, and find that wife. So I hope, I hope those tips help and, and give you some confidence to go out there and, um, and find a wife. And, um, and we'll continue next week on, um, you know, what to look for in the prerequisites. And hopefully it's helpful. All right, let's pray.